Hey guys, it's Grand Admiral Thrawn, and today is both a great occasion and a sad one. Now, I'm going to start with the great occasion. Today is the one-year anniversary of the 17-year anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, Episode 3 of Star Wars. In other words, today, May 19th, is the 18-year anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, which is easily the best of the prequels. It's a great Star Wars movie. And I made a poll of what do you want me to make Missing Black series for? And with less than 10 votes total, Revenge of the Sith won that poll, which could be both an insult to my channel or a compliment to Revenge of the Sith. I prefer to think of it as the latter of the two. Anyway, I've been stalling too long. So in today's video, I'm naming 13 Revenge of the Sith themed black series. Now, in this list, there may be characters you think should have made the list, but it means either A, they've already gotten a black series, or B, I've already done them in a different video of mine. So, I tend not to repeat myself in these videos. I don't know. And then the bad news, I'll get to at the end of this video. But for now, 13 missing Revenge of the Sith black series, which is surprising that they don't even have a Revenge of the Sith themed wave. They have an Attack of the Clones one, and that's that the closest we got. Okay, sp talking too long. Let's get into this. At number 13, I have Aegon Kolar. You may remember him as the first of the three Jedi who die immediately when facing Palpatine, although his is the most embarrassing of them all, considering he literally dies immediately right after Palpatine activates his lightsaber. Now, obviously, even though he dies like a chump, for a Jedi Master at least, which is just to show how, pal how powerful Palpatine is, which he clearly is powerful, this is a very iconic and awesome scene in Star Wars, so this would be a Black Series figure you'd want to have in your collection. Number 12, I have R4-P17, Obi-Wan Kenobi's astromech. Now, R4 is nowhere near as awesome as R2-D2, okay? R4 is, at best, a mediocre droid. I think he made the list for my top 20 droids, but he was, like, the bottom of the list. He might have been 20. I can't remember. But, yeah, he was not very high. Now, just because he's not a very entertaining character doesn't mean he shouldn't have a Black Series. I mean, freaking Tika the Jawa has one. And he got one before Fives, but we are finally getting a Fives. Anyway, we're getting a re-release of R2. I feel like they could simply just repaint this, make him look like R4. Boom. Number 11, I have Commander Neo. Neo is a clone commander who executes Order 66, and he's one of the very few of said clone commanders that we don't actually have in Black Series. For the most part, we have almost every clone commander. It's the non-commander clones that we don't get, except Neo. Neo, we don't have in Black Series form. I think he'd be a cool figure, so make it happen. Number 10, Seizi Tin. And I don't even know if I just pronounced his name right or not. Anyway, Seizi Tin, another one of the three Jedi who die immediately, although I'm giving Kit Fisto a pass. Clone Wars redeemed him. Plus, he's just a likable Jedi. Anyway, Seizi Tin lasts slightly longer than Aegon Kolar, but he still dies very quickly. And he does appear in Clone Wars, but barely. So, Seizi Tin, also needed for that iconic scene, I think he could work good as a Black Series. Number nine, I have Masa Maida. If you do not know who this is, he is the blue guy who is always there with Palpatine in the Senate. Uh, Masa Maida is in basically everything. He's in all three of the prequels. He's in Bad Batch, Clone Wars. He even has other cameos and other stuff, but for now, he's in a lot of comics. He doesn't have a Black Series, though, and he's not really a character that would be in high demand, considering the fact that the most he ever does is stand next to Palpatine. But I figured he's good enough to make the list, considering how much he's in and he doesn't have a Black Series, I threw him in here. Okay, number eight, I have Chieftain Tarful. In other words, the other Wookiee in the scene with and the two Wookiees are helping Yoda. 
The other of the two Wookiees is Chewbacca. Tarful, however, is in a bunch of other stuff. He's also in Jedi Fallen Order, and Tarful is just a great character in that he's a Wookiee that we get to see in action and as part of the Rebellion before Chewie was actually part of the Rebellion, which I think was pretty cool. So yeah, Tarful, he should have a Black Series considering that there are only... Okay, technically three, but there are only two Wookiees that we have Black Series for. Chewbacca and Chrysanthemum. And then there's that one Christmas-themed one, but I don't really count that one because that's just a repaint of Chewy. Anyway, Tarful should have a Black Series, and so should Wookiees in general. Number seven, I have Padme Amidala. Now, <clears throat> I know what you're thinking. Padme's already got a Black Series, which is true. But the only Black Series she currently has is Attack of the Clones. That's it. Padme, who's got more appearances in... St <clears throat> more outfits in Star Wars than any other character out there. I'm not kidding. She's only got one figure, and it's from Attack of the Clones. She's getting one for Phantom Menace, so why not make one for each movie from the trilogy? I chose this outfit. It's pretty iconic for the movie, at least. It's the one on the... I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, it's a pretty iconic scene uh, ver outfit of Padme, and I think that we should get more character, more figures of Padme, especially a Queen Amidala one. Number six, 212th Airborne Trooper. If you're wondering why the Lego figure is there, I will explain. Usually, Hasbro is on top of Lego with making characters in figure form. However, this is not the case this time, where Lego actually made a figure of a 212th Airborne Trooper before Hasbro did. So Lego is actually better than Hasbro right now. <clears throat> and a, tw a 212th Airborne Trooper I put on here rather than just a plain one, because we already have a plain 212th Trooper. And they're a major part. The Battle of Umbara, great battle. So we need more clones from the 212th. Plus it's Obi-Wan's Legion. Okay, speaking of clones from Legions, I have, in number five, a Kashyyyk clone scout trooper. Yeah, that's... Try saying Kashyyyk clone scout trooper three times fast. It's probably not actually that hard. Anyway, yeah. These are one of the two... A Kashyyyk clone scout trooper is actually one of the two that goes to execute Yoda, with the assist of Commander Gree. Gree already has a Black Series figure, so he's not making the list. However, it's a very iconic scene when Yoda leaps up and cuts off both their heads. Plus, the Battle of Kashyyyk itself is just awesome. So I figured this figure should make the list. Okay, number four, I have an ARC-170 pilot. Specifically, Oddball. Oddball is actually our first on-screen named clone that we ever got, okay? Actually, live action, okay? There was the... 2D animation Clone Wars, but other than that, he was our very first clone, and he doesn't have a Black Series. Not only that, there is only one clone pilot that has a Black Series, and that's Hawk. That's it. Not even just a plain clone pilot, just Hawk. So I think Oddball would be a great Black Series figure to get, considering he is a clone pilot, and he is our first live-action, named clone that we ever got to meet. There are actually no named clones in Attack of the Clones, surprisingly. Number three, I have the Jedi with more deaths than anyone out there, Shakti. I'm not kidding when I say this. She has more deaths, not, none of them, not all of them are canon, than anyone else out there. More than Palpatine. There is one where she died on Grievous's ship because she was protecting Palpatine. There's one where she died in the Jedi Temple, which is the most likely to be canon. And then there's the Force Unleashed where she somehow survived Order 66 just to be killed by Starkiller. And then there are so many other deaths. Watch the videos. They're called Shock T Can't Stop Dying or stuff like that. Keeps Dying. There are so many of them. But Shock T is actually a cool Jedi. She tries to help Fives during his clone conspiracy arc in Clone Wars. And I think that they should have left in one of her scenes in Revenge of the Sith. 
It's not necessary, but it still would have been a cool inclusion. Okay, number two, Darth Vader. Now, we do have Darth Vader, but we don't have this variation of Darth Vader when he's not in the suit. I'm talking about Anakin, yellow eyes, robes, child killer Anakin. I'm not saying I like the child killer thing. I'm just saying I want that black series of Anakin because we've already gotten a Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan. So if you want to make a posing of the Obi-Wan versus Anakin on Mustafar, you need an Anakin who actually looks like he's gone to the dark side. Plus, he's the main character of Revenge of the Sith. You need him in your Revenge of the Sith wave. Plus, Revenge of the Sith is probably the best of Anakin. Or, I'm not saying Vader, I'm saying Anakin. So yeah, I think it should come with a removable hood, his lightsaber, and then the yellow eyes on his face. Or if not that, just make him look angry. But number one on this list, Revenge of the Sith Palpatine. I am not kidding when I say this. We only have one version of Palpatine, and it is him from Return of the Jedi. We've had different variations of said outfit, but we don't have one for Rise of Skywalker. We don't have one of him in Revenge of the Sith. And that's a bummer considering he's the main villain in all of Star Wars. Okay, sometimes it's Vader, but still. He's the main villain in all of Star Wars, and he's got one type of Black Series. That's it. No Clone Wars, no Revenge of the Sith, no Rise of Skywalker, no none of them. Not even a hologram inclusion in a Black Series figure. We need this Palpatine. I want him to come with a red lightsaber. I would like for the lightning thing that they did with some figures, but at the same time, I feel like it's an unnecessary thing. So yeah, I want him in the red outfit with a red lightsaber, and I want this Palpatine figure as a Black Series. The hood can come on and off, maybe even just come off in general. I don't care if you throw in the second lightsaber because he had two. I don't care. Make the Black Series, Hasbro. I feel like you watch my channel considering several Black Series I say have actually been made. Anyway, now for the sad part I'd mentioned at the beginning of the video. This is actually going to be the last of my Missing Black Series videos for a very long time. I'm not going to be making many more. I'm going to be focusing on Black Series figure reviews and a few other videos here and there, but I'm taking a break, like a long break, at least three months from doing Missing Black Series, so that's the downside. But anyway, this is a continuation of my month of May the 4th be with you, where all of, all of the month of May I am doing videos for Star Wars. I've already done a video for the five-year anniversary of Solo. I've just finished doing my 18-year anniversary of Ret Revenge of the Sith, and I got a Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary coming out soon. Anyway, this is Grand Admiral Thrawn signing off, and I look forward to our next encounter in my next video.